Wait, what's this? How Tyler the Creator destroyed DJ Khaled? Oh, is this when he got Igor to number one? Is that part of the whole Khaled thing? Like, you felt like at the time when that conversation happened? Bro, that Khaled was, thing was like... This could be good. It was fun. It was just watching a man die inside because the under the, the, the guy that, you know, the weirdo was winning. I was moonwalking in a wig. In May 17, 2019, <laughs> Tyler the Creator released his fifth studio album with Igor. Turn my lights off. How the fuck you cry with the mic? <laughs> the album was unexpected right. even for Tyler fans as the album presented a side of himself that people had never really seen. Because so good up album. to this point of his career, most people knew Tyler the Creator as a troll with only the actual fans of Tyler realizing that there was more depth to what he was doing. However, that all started to change with the release of Flower Boy as we Oof. began to see Tyler True. get personal in a more open way yeah okay 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 my infection it seemed true, like true, at true. times during the album, Tyler was speaking genuinely to the audience and it was through the character of Igor that we saw Tyler be able to expand on the foundation that was laid in Flower Boy. The album focused mainly on love and heartbreak, with the first half of the album showing Tyler being in love. This is seen in tracks like I Think. I think I it. it can also be this seen in a I track like Earthquake. <laughs> Bro, I love this album. Yo, there's, Although the song there's shows bangers Tyler after bangers love, on this thing. It also shows that the story might not end the way that Tyler wants it to end. Which is really what we see in the latter half of the album. Oh, this is my With outro. Dude, I love this song, man. Heartbreak and ultimately we see Tyler I don't understand, like, how at the time, like, DJ Khaled was confuzzled. Wait, no, I take that back. I understand how he was confuzzled. Like, I can't help but laugh at the man. DJ Khaled in that year had everybody on his album. And Tyler the Creator beat him. Yeah, the man just didn't like it. The man was so sour that year, and it was fun to watch, honestly. It was it was a lot of fun to watch as a as a Tyler fan. I thought Igor deserved it. Like, this is one of my favorite albums. But Tyler Crater is like one of my favorite artists of all time in general. So it was like pretty base. <laughs> pretty all base. To begging to at least be friends with the person. <laughs> Honestly, that's real if I'm being honest. It was a big right. risk for Tyler the Creator, but it paid off. Whether it be because of the new sounds, there's just the so much heart, new sounds album, and shit. People love the album. That's so good for DJ Khaled. Also in May 17th of 2019, DJ Khaled released an album. It was called Father of Assad. And this one doesn't need too much context to understand. Another one. Another one. <laughs> and for those who don't know, when you listen to a right. DJ Khaled album, you're not listening Bro, to I can't even want to listen to. I can't even remember like a song from the album that came out that year. But I could probably name almost all of Igor tracks. Almost all of them, I think. It was like 13 or something. I think I could do it. But I could not name you a single one of them from that album that he made. And it was second place that year. I have no clue. Not a single idea. <laughs> DJ Khaled. Rather, you want to listen to the people that are around DJ maybe Khaled. Every, For example, on this album. Maybe every chance I get was on this. But that's like the only one I think. The big hit was No Brainer, which had Justin Bieber, Chance the Rapper, and Quavo from the Migos. Shout out to the Migos, by the way. Uh, R.E.P. Takeoff. That shit was sad for real. Like, I was hurt. I ain't gonna lie. Anyways. R.I.P. And the DJ Khaled album before that had I'm the One, which is literally like the same song, not gonna lie. Personally, I prefer this one though. Just Wait, I thought they were the same song. I was, like, I was about to be like, I knew this song. Wait, what is this one then? Well, on this album, the big hit was No Brainer, which had Justin Bieber, Chance the Rapper, and Quavo from the Migos. Shout out to the Migos, <laughs> by the way. Uh, Right, it sounded like exactly the same, same lineup and everything. Real baby, it's a no and the <laughs> right, and then this one. Though, just cause like Chance puts out I'm a the solid one, yeah. verse. Bro, they sound like exactly the same. That's but regardless, crazy. that's the appeal of DJ Khaled album. And this album right. was no different. It featured artists like Jay-Z, Nas, Travis Scott, Post Malone. Everybody. Among many was, others. Everybody These was on it. These two albums are almost the opposite of each other. One represents the journey that a person went through, providing a deeper personal connection with the listeners through the lyrics of the album. The me. other has <laughs> little to no focus on anything outside of it being a playlist from the artist producing it. 
outside of the catchphrases you'll hear throughout the album. DJ God, dude. <laughs> There's no trace of right. the person being behind yeah. what they're listening to. And How could that not win? With ourselves, <laughs> the goal with this album is to get the most sales or the most money out of it. If you don't wake up in the morning and look at the mirror and say you're the greatest and you the one, then what are you? I know you can't wake up in the morning and look in the mirror and say I'm number two. So when the numbers came in at the end of the week and Igor had outsold Father right. of Assad, DJ Khaled lost it. I gotta say this too. I make albums so people can play it and you actually hear it. You know, driving your car, you hear another car playing it. Actually you know, hear it. Go to the barbershop, you hear them playing it. You know, turn the radio on and you hear them playing it. You know, it's playing everywhere. It's called great music. It's called... Like I said, I don't remember a single song off the album, but maybe other people do. I just don't really listen to DJ Khaled. And honestly, it's understandable why DJ <laughs> I'd be listening to like, well, Tyler the Creator, other rap shit, like some Drake, some 21 Savage, some little, some little Uzi. But I also like, uh, you know, all the other Odd Future stuff. That's kind of what like I listen to. I never really get caught up in the DJ Khaled. Unless he's got like a really disgusting feature going on, like every chance I get, the old Drake ones when they were like in the hotels and stuff. Yeah, those were crazy. I don't remember what they're called, but I remember the music videos. They were quite interesting. Jay Khaled lost it. For Tyler the Creator, a number one spot meant that he would top the charts for the first time in his career, solidifying Tyler as more than just a troll. <laughs> for DJ Khaled, however, a number one meant validation. As when your main thing is making hit songs, numbers are the most important thing. And the thing is that DJ Khaled probably didn't mind coming in at number two. It was who he came yeah, number two Yeah, it's who he lost against. to. I just let that number one start. Couldn't believe it. Nigga Ego had to deal with that. It's his whole identity. The guy who uh, came up drawing donuts, eating cockroaches, trolling people on Twitter and shit, beat the mega uh, feature star, you know? It looked like he didn't like it. It looked like, looked like he didn't like one. it. You see, when Tyler the Creator broke into hip hop, he wasn't supposed to be the next Nas or the next Jay Z. He blew up on the internet, which really wasn't a thing back then. And on top of that, his lyrical content mainly relied around edginess. Stab Bruno Mars in his goddamn esophagus. So for him to man, be Bruno Mars was always good. Was basically <laughs> impossible back in like 2010, 2011. So when DJ Khaled made a case for himself to stay at the top instead of Tyler the Creator, it was pretty simple. Khaled had the Avengers of music, he had been in the top spot before, and he belonged there. Tyler, on the other hand, he was odd. He was that guy that made Eddie raps and ate roaches. Tyler didn't belong. On top of that, his songs weren't bangers on the radio. He didn't sound like how you were supposed to sound. He had a True. voice modifier all over the fucking album. <laughs> True. So, how can Tyler be the number one spot? But that's the story of Igor and the story of Tyler the Creator as well. He wasn't cool. He wasn't the most loved. He never was supposed to belong. Like seventh grade, I got in a fight with some guy because he said, you don't belong on the basketball court, which he was right. I'm trash. <laughs> uh, eighth grade, I tried out for drama club. I got in and got kicked out within an hour because she said I was too hyper. I was standing on chairs, definitely, but I still think that I should have stayed in there. <laughs> Ninth grade, they wouldn't right. let me join band class because I couldn't read music. But I still had the passion, and I'm <laughs> on two instruments now, picking up a third. I, uh, <laughs> but when all that happened, I said, fuck them. I didn't let none of that shit stop me from doing anything that I wanted to do. These are things right. that we usually don't associate with being the top dog. And yet, it was this sense oh, that's of- That's so like, that's so cool. As like a, like an outsider's position, like, like as weird, as crazy as it gets, always like a fun journey, man. Man, it's just authentically him. That's what makes me enjoy his like work even more than I already do. Artist behind it is just authentically him. Doing his do. At least it seems. <laughs> Hopefully he don't got too much crazy shit going on in the back. But uh, I don't know. Just seems like he's authentically him doing the weird shit or just doing the shit he wants to do no matter what people say at any time. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Unbelonging that Makes his own clothes. Tyler, Music. Relatable. The thing that made Tyler Maple more syrup? than just an indie rapper. <laughs> like, and it's what made Tyler the creator yeah. outsell 
DJ Khaled. Man, it's just a creator. And honestly, it serves as a life lesson. It's better to try your best at something that you love rather than doing <laughs> what you think other people will like. Even if it's a risk, right? I think people would rather listen or be around someone that's genuine rather than someone who isn't. Right. I was when Anyways, he won. With that being said, shout out to Jay Dilla. That was cool uh, when he won. Shout out to me. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to me. And, <laughs> um, yeah. Right? Oh, what a beat. Huh. That was a cool little video.